Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and um, I'm going to be talking to you about um, fear. And we should not fear about anything, um, especially the little things. So, what, what type of thing um, should we really fear? Um, we should not fear death. We should not fear a lion. Um, we should not uh, fear... I mean, falling, we should probably not fear falling, um... So, what, what kind of thing would we, um, have to fear? Well, the only thing you should fear right now, especially, um, near the end of your life, is God. Fear the one that can throw your body and soul into hell. And you should not fear the devil, but you should fear the Lord Jesus, because he is the one that needs to be respected. Alright. So do you know what fear really is? Fear is basically false, um, whatever, whatever, um, reality. Equate to reality, so, um, false whatever, um, acquitted reality. So, I can look it up, but I don't want to. But of course, um, it's a false thing. I mean, once you know that you fear something that's a millimeter in size, instead of six feet tall, I mean, a fear can be that bad. I mean, being a coward about something that's literally, mi like, a millimeter in size, like a spider, or a, um, I don't know, like, what would you call it, um, something that looks strange, like, several holes that actual, like, several holes in the wall, um, anything like that, I mean, people even fear bees, um, they fear bugs, they fear... Uh, these people wouldn't even fear ladybugs. Some people even fear butterflies, which are beautiful. Um, that's kind of a sad thing, really. Um, of course, people fear other people even when they don't really... or Even when other people are not that um, mean or tough. You know, the people might look scary and tall and strong... But of course, they can have a really gentle heart. But really, the one that um, you think is really gentle and loving, of course, you have to fear because he he still loves you. He's still gentle, but he can absolutely throw your body in hell and your soul as well, because he's not gonna take anything. That is, um, going to harm anyone in heaven. He isn't. Anything that will harm anyone in heaven will have to be thrown in another, in another place. And that other place is hell. Or Hades. Or any of these places. So fear God. Not animals or little spiders that are barely even a millimeter. Or even, you know, you know, basically, even the devil. Because once you have God's um, spirit inside of you, that devil will be a toothless lion without claws, and he will be weak, and you will have a sword, and you have armor and your shield. And he can trample on him and cut his head off. Sorry if I said that, but you know. Huh, you know? Yeah. If you're the one that gives you the power, that's all I'm trying to say, okay? Because he knows, and he's very clever, and he knows how to cause destruction to his enemies. But he does not want to cause destruction to his um, um, family. 
So, that's all I want you to say, okay? And do not fear anything, okay? Alright. I'll be done now, okay? Okay? Bye.